Hey you guys, it's your boy Odin back at you with another open source review video and today we're going to be going over Camilo which is a really cool learning content management system where you can create your own e-course and have a bunch of students super easily, okay? And I would highly recommend, of course you can set it up on any server you want because it's free and open source software. However, if you want access to a free trial and you don't want to have any headaches setting it up, then I would recommend set, signing up to DigitalOcean for two reasons. One, they have a free trial for $50, and two, they offer Camilo as a one-click installation, so you don't have to spend hours figuring out how to install it. All you need to do is come here, sign up, and then click Create Droplet, and then once you're here, you're gonna click the Marketplace tab, you're gonna select Camilo, you're gonna go down, you're gonna select the cheapest server, $5, and then select the location, and then just click create droplet and you're good to go. And then it will give you an IP address that you can access just like this. And I will also leave a link down below for this page, which will have information if you want to set up a domain name for it, and also the default username and password. The default username is admin and the default password is DigitalOcean with a capital D and a capital O. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna log in, okay? Um, the one thing about Camilo that just overwhelms me a bit is that there's just so many options, okay? I will try to go over the most important options in this video, but honestly, it would take hours to go over everything, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and click create a course. And if you go to administration and click create a course, it's even more advanced. You can set way, way more settings. This is just the very basics. So we're gonna do course name and we'll go ahead and we'll just do uh, web hosting, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and click fill with demo content, which will fill some of the course with some content so we don't have to fill out a bunch of information, which is better for you guys because I can just show you guys right away how it works, okay? Now we're here. Uh, you can also switch to the student view. This is the admin view, and you can attach documents. Uh, you can set up tests. Uh, you can create a course description um, and look at how many different uh, settings there is, okay? So if we click this title, uh, we could just do hosting, uh, learn about web hosting, and then we can go ahead and click save and that will create a course description. Um, if we go back to the web hosting course, we can also do other things such as attach documents um, and you can already see they included a bunch of sample documents, audio, uh, images, videos. Um, if we go back, you can also set learning paths so you can set how you want them to learn. Um, and you know, this, this all gets very, very advanced, guys. I can't go over everything, but I'm gonna try to go over the most important things. You can set a glossary so you can set terms. Uh, for example, you can say a server, what a server is. Uh, and things like that. Um, you can see who's attended, you can create test, and you can also view the test results. Um, you can see surveys, you can also have a chat with the students. Uh, hello world, whoops, I put hell world. I hope we're not going to hell world. And then also, uh, you can set, you can create backups, you can do reporting, and you can even check out the settings, okay? Um, now, this is another interesting feature that they have. They have a social network where you can connect with your students. So you can be like, hello students, make sure to study this weekend. And go ahead and click post, and boom, everybody in your social network can now see that, okay? If we go to administration, there's literally so many different settings. Um, if we click user list, we can see the users. Uh, if we click add a user, we can easily add a user, okay? You can also import and export users into different instances. Um, like I said earlier, if you create a course from here, you'll have a lot more options. You can set the category, the, the teacher, uh, the department URL, whether you want the public or open or private. Um, and you can also, uh, you can accept PayPal uh, through Camilo so you can charge for your courses as well um, and uh, at least that's what I read I'm pretty sure that's accurate 
and you can also create questions for the course you can have training sessions it does so many things guys uh, right off the bat though I'd say my honest opinion is that Camilo it's cool it's free open source software however it's just a little too complicated because there's so many options and I think it needs a redesign it looks like it was built about 10 years ago okay other than that it's pretty cool um, you can come here you can see reporting uh, you can see information about the teachers about the students things like that how much time each students are spending in the portal uh, you can create a personal agenda for your students so you could say today we are going to learn about cloud hosting okay and then we can go ahead and add that to the calendar and I'm pretty sure the students can see that as well uh, if here it looks like you can add events um, you can also look at it as a list view let's go ahead and do that boom so you can look at it like a list view like that if we go to the home page um, you can see information about the course you can also rate courses uh, you can also set your skills and you can create certificates um, yeah guys I think it's pretty cool uh, do I think it's the best learning management system out there no but for an open source system that you're in full control it's pretty good uh, I know a lot of people nowadays are using a software called teachable However, with Teachable, you don't have access to that software and you're at mercy of that company. That's why open source software is so beautiful compared to closed source software because you are in full control of it, okay? So I'd recommend you guys download this uh, onto a server and you guys test it out yourself and you check out all the settings for yourself. If you have any questions, then make sure to ask them down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And remember guys, it's super easy. You don't need any technical talent to get started. You just need to sign up with the link down below. If you want access to the DigitalOcean free trial, come to the green button, click create droplet, select Camilo, select $5 server, and then select the location near you, and then go ahead and just click create droplet and you will be good to go. And if you guys found this video helpful, make sure to check out my website host.promo and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you guys have an amazing rest of the day. Peace out.